services. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, finishing basements and how it relates to furnaces and other mechanical stuff. I think everybody that's had a, a basement wants to finish it at one point or another. So there's a couple things to keep in mind, uh, especially if you got an older furnace uh, that you might be replacing soon. The, way, the position of the walls around there is real important, um, especially if you're gonna be walling off something in front of the furnace. By code, you gotta have at least 24 inches uh, right in front of the furnace. And honestly, a little bit of extra would go a really long way to making sure that you know if you do need to service the furnace, either pull the blower wheel out or do some major work on it, or even just minor repairs, it's just a lot easier and more convenient to have a little bit of room to work with in front of it. Um, so that's one of the most important things that we see people kind of, you know, no one wants to see the furnace, so they want to wall it off, but uh, keep in mind when you got to work on it, what we've got to do. And like I said, if it's getting a little bit older and you're going to be needing to replace it, the, one of the things that's real important to keep in mind is that sometimes there's some ductwork modifications we got to make. Sometimes the new furnaces are a little bit wider. Um, so giving yourself a little extra room on the sides not only makes it easier to, to work on in the future, uh, but also just we might not have to tear down uh, one of those walls you just put up just because the new furnace is a little bit wider than what the old one was. Um, and then there's a couple other things that people tend to forget about too. So the venting, uh, the way the vents uh, come out of there, if you're going from a, a standard efficiency furnace to a high efficiency, a lot of times we're gonna have to run some, some vents all the way to the side of the house, either out through the back or the sides. And so if you've got finished drywall ceilings completely covering your basement, we're either gonna have to cut some holes or cut out a strip. And uh, a lot of times a drop ceiling, you know, most trades guys will love you if you put in a drop ceiling instead of just drywalling everything completely over. And the other nice thing that that opens up for you is uh, giving you access to your dampers. Uh, a lot of people just wall over the dampers that are already in the duct system, and those can help you fine tune certain rooms that might be getting a little too much air or ones that aren't getting enough. We can force a little bit more to those. So, you know, drop ceiling really helps. I know it's not everybody's favorite look, but it'll make things so much more accessible and functional. Uh, and if you do insist on doing drywall, if you really want that, you know, if you have some uh, some, air, some vents that you need access to those dampers, they make little uh, access panels. So you can just put a little access panel right where that damper is, and that really helps a lot. Uh, and then just, you know, finally, some of the other things, you know, you want to kind of keep in mind some, some of the safety tips for, you know, when you do have this room that now contains your furnace and your water heater and all that kind of stuff, um, you know, making sure that... Uh, uh, it's well lit for one, you know, so you have access to or the ability to work on it when you need to and you can uh, change your filter, you know, without bumping into stuff. Um, another thing is keeping a carbon monoxide detector in there, you know, especially if it's also with a water heater in there. Um, those exhaust gases, if something goes wrong, you want to know right away and that's, uh, that's a pretty uh, prominent spot that that'll happen. And then, uh, you know, keeping uh, having an area to like store things like filters or humidifier panels and things like that you know or if you have like a UV light system if you got extra bulbs you know make sure you got room to store those so that you're not tripping all over those and uh, if you do like to buy them in bulk and get a better deal you got a place to keep those and they're not getting all damaged and wasting your money and stuff so anyways just a couple little tips for you hope that helps somebody out there and uh, thanks very much